In today's video, we're going to take a look at how to set up the JCM Master Services. Now, before we get into the setups, let's go over what exactly this program does. So the JCM Master Services allows the program to process certain things in the background as a Windows service rather than the foreground, which could potentially slow things down. So an example of this would be uh, tea time confirmation emails. So if you're not using the JCM Master Services setup, you would click the confirm button, then Jonas would create an email, it would send it out, and then the screen would bring you back to the T sheet. So there's a few processes there. Uh, now, if you do have the Master Services set up, what you would do is you would click confirm, and then you would immediately be brought back to the T sheet, and that confirmation email would send in the background as a Windows service. So now that we know how the master services work and what exactly it does, let's go ahead and set it up. So step number one for setting this up is to set up the Windows service first. Now, in order to do this, you'll have to open up Jonas by right clicking on the icon and running it as the administrator. Once you've opened up the program, we'll go into system administration, system setup and Jonas Windows services. Now, when you're setting this up, this can be set up on any computer at the club. However, we recommend using the server for this. So I'm going to enter my server terminal ID or any other computer at the club. I'm going to enter the user ID that I want this service to run under. I'm just going to put my user ID. And then we have two paths. We have a UNC path and the start in folder. So for the UNC path field, this should, of course, be a UNC path to wherever the SBBWIN program is. So typically that would be in your GJC win folder. So for me at my club, that is this path right here. And then we'll do the slash at the end. And then for the start in folder, this is typically going to be the C GJC win data field with a slash at the end as well. Once you've done that, hit the create service button. This will attempt to create a Windows service. That's fantastic. I'll click yes to that. And you should get this message after a second, Windows service has been created. Now, once you set up the Jonas service within the Jonas program, I would go into Windows and look up the services right here. Once that screen pops up, look under the Jonas section under J, and you should have a Jonas Windows service located right there. Once you can see that listed under services, let's go back into Jonas and we'll set up the second part of this. So we're going to go into the JCM master services profile right here. Once we open up that, if you want this to be active, turn on the active flag, input that same terminal ID that we've been put in the first step, as well as the same user ID. And then all you need to do is turn on the flags for all the services that you want to run as a Jonas master services. So for me, all my tea time confirmation emails, text messages, point of sale emails, I want all that to run with the Jonas master service. Now keep an eye on this list because we will be adding more programs as time goes on.